Welcome to the Do Better Podcast. I'm your host, Theo Coop, and we are back with another video. So this time I have a reaction to Jason Black. Last week on March 13th was Kevin Samuels' birthday. So Jason Black had a stream in which he talked about Kevin Samuels, and I believe Jason Black had an issue with Kevin Samuels. One of the main points that I picked up from watching the stream was that in somewhat of a, a motivational figure for a lot of young men. But Jason's beef is that he thinks Kevin would tell you the things you would need to achieve, but wouldn't give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to achieve achieve said results and this caller that we're about to react to i believe she took this opportunity she thought that this was going to be uh kevin samuels bashing session because jason black seemed to disagree with him on a few topics so she called in under those pretenses and that was not jason black's intention at all so let's get to it hello hello to you what is your name where are you calling from hi i'm sorry this is lisa from merlin hi lisa from where at in maryland lisa in merlin um, Laurel, Maryland. I'm sorry. Okay, Lisa from Laurel, Maryland. And what what did you learn from the Kevin Samuels era? I didn't really learn too much from it. I felt like he tried to put women down. And what really got me, and I'm getting off subject a little, a little bit, when he told that lady she was average at best. I feel if she was a light-skinned woman or a mixed woman, that would have never been said because we know how colorless black men are anyway. Oh, my God. Okay, you know, well, let, me, let, me find out, me. let me find out something here. How long did you listen to his program? I listened to him for a while. I, for a while. Okay. Let me find out a couple of things here. When he said to that woman that she's average at best, and by the way, Kevin was very good for lifting things from television, Tony Soprano. All right, fine. Tony, <laughs> Tony Soprano said that to Christopher Maltesanti. You're average at best. I'm just saying, I want fellas to get their own ideas. Everything can't be just lifted and stolen from everywhere, guys. I kind of get what Jason is alluding to, but also at the same time, Kevin Samuels never insinuated that he made everything up himself. He averages best is, is just a simple term. So, If you really want to excel at something, start cultivating your own ideas. However, I want to go back to that. When you say that you take issue with the fact that he said she was average at best, why do you, what was it about her that made him say that? I, I would say more because of the, like her her complexion. And okay. Did he did he well, so, you know, slow down slow down slow down? Did he invoke her complexion and you mean her skin tone? Did he invoke that as an issue? He absolutely did not. I remember they called vividly. Is, I, I okay, well, uh, okay, well, okay, well, okay, well, okay, okay, but okay, you, you well, ma'am, you can't, between. okay, but you can't do that. You can't do that. You can indict. Now, that's one thing I won't allow. You can indict someone for something that they said. You can't indict them for something that they didn't say. Talk so to you're going to need to find something else. So now that we've confirmed that he didn't say that, that's just you saying, well, I feel it. You have no way to prove that. That's just your feeling. So what did he say was the issue? I, I just feel like he um when, when it pertains to women, uh, we, we, we got to be submissive. We, we have to do this. We have to do that. And I feel what's wrong with no that accountability? What's okay, but what's wrong with that, ma'am? I, I don't feel nothing's wrong with that, but I, I feel like a lot of times he never held men accountable. Everything was always with black women. This we're single mothers. Black women most of the time date. Black men. So who was making black women it's single not, mothers? Black women. I, make, I black like women. We, we black women make themselves. Black women make them. themselves single mothers because black women congregate on the bottom twenty percent of males based on attraction and wanting to emotionally control somebody, not based on strategic thinking. However, back to what you were just saying there, the female that he was referencing, he specifically said what it was, man. But you already know that. So she was, I think, what over the age of thirty. She was a single mother with a couple of kids, I believe. She was over 30, and she had one 13-year-old son. I, I don't remember the thing exactly, but I'm pretty sure she was a single mom. And um, she... With a sketchy baby dad. She ranked herself, I think, of the same level of attractiveness as Beyonce. Or close to it. Mm -hmm. And objectively speaking, there was some dispute about that. Absolutely. So, those three factors... You're over the age of 30, you got, you're a single mom, and you think you're as fly as Beyonce. Now- But who is making black women single mothers? Okay, Most but ma'am, okay, that's deflection. Ma'am, that's black deflection. deflection. Ma'am, ma'am, that's deflection. Let's go back to the caller. You notice you keep doing that. You raise that point, but you won't even defend her. So let's go back to that. She, who owns her womb? The man or her? 
Okay, so who's responsible for what happens in her body? She, she is. Okay, she, then, uh, then, yeah. let, then, then now we have answered the question of why you sh should not bring up black men again. You just expressed why that's not a legitimate argument. So let's not deflect anymore. As a grown woman, you are 100% responsible for the act of pregnancy. Talk to him. It is the height of immaturity for you to sit up here and try to deflect on to men responsibility for your sexual choices. And I've said that on this channel. I'm open to debate and ch exchange ideas with anyone on most topics. But there's two topics I refuse to listen to people if they try to engage in such. Is the people, in majority of the time, there are women that come to my page and say statistics don't matter. If you say that statistics don't matter, I can't have a real conversation with you because the conversation isn't rooted in reality. That's the first point. And then the second point is any woman who tries to debate that a man has just as much or more culpability in a woman getting pregnant is asinine. That is insane. But a woman is 100% responsible in ensuring that she herself, self-preservation, that she herself does not get pregnant. I agree with Jason a thousand percent. Getting pregnant is not easy to do. Getting pregnant takes a specific quality of factors to come into the equation at the exact same time. So a woman doesn't get pregnant by accident. She gets pregnant because she's chosen that man and she's saying, I want to keep him. So you are responsible for your body and your pregnancy. Hating truth and reality isn't gonna make it change. But you do understand your exhibit right now, I want you to understand, nobody knows what you look like. They don't know if you're light skinned, dark skinned, whatever. But you're exhibiting the worst elements of black womanhood or black females today, right now on this phone call. You're expressing the worst characteristics and elements of it. All the things that people see as negatives, you're, you've gone right down the checklist <laughs> and checked all of them. No accountability, belligerent, deflection, changing the subject mm. demonizing black men for your decisions talk to them. those are two separate things demonizing no, black men and your decisions those are all the worst most horrendous despicable character traits that black women express today and you've gone down the list and expressed expressed them all in one phone call that's quite an accomplishment now back to the young woman you were referring to was she overrating her looks i don't think so now she now, if she would have came on the show, I don't think I'm this, I don't think I'm that. She would have got hyped for that. Ma'am, okay, ma'am, back she again. Ma'am, back I mean, again, ma'am, back again. Ma'am, you can win by being honest. Facts. You can't sit up here and tell bald-faced lies and delusions and then say, everybody needs to play along with me. If she had sat there and said something honestly, that would be truth. Because here's the problem. If you're an eight or a 10, your life is gonna get eight and 10 responses from men Facts. and eight and 10 results. Right. Was she getting the results that an eight or a 10 gets from men? Let's try this again, I, man. I mean, Was she getting the responses that a woman who is an eight or a 10 receives from men? Probably not. No, it's not a they, they don't see Ma'am, it's, it's not a probably not. She was calling in and complaining. She doesn't get the results that an eight or a 10 gets. And this is the problem. When you want men to look you in the eye and lie to you because to you them. don't want to accept where you really are. This would be like a man saying, I want you to treat me like a baller. How much do you make a year? $15,000. But you shouldn't call me broke and you should accept that 15,000. Thanks. He's not a baller. He's not even a full grown adult. But you wouldn't want a man to sit there and insist that you play delusion with him. You wouldn't want a man doing that with you. But look how you're on this phone insisting that men should play delusional with women. That's what I mean by you are exhibiting the worst, most reviled aspects of black female culture today. You're not even demanding to be honest because ma'am, being an eight or a 10 isn't an opinion. Being an eight or a 10 is an objective thing because we call it that because eights and tens get a, cert a specific type of response universally. These are women who men pay to look at them. Men don't pay to look at a four or a six. Men pay, ma'am, quiet down. Men pay money to look to just to look at a woman who's an eight or a 10. Men pay a whole lot more money to be next to her. So eights and tens get a, have a specific higher 
income and value bracket than the rest of the female population. So for a female who is far below that to say, well, I know I'm not an eight or a 10, but if men ask me, I'm gonna say I'm an eight or a 10 and I'm gonna insist you uphold that. That's the kind of thing that makes you upset because you're upsetting yourself because you want men to lie. And men won't lie because if we yeah, lie to you, we're gonna have to live with this four that we know <laughs> isn't a four, that we know isn't an eight, but she's insisting that we lie to her. You get all the benefits of an eight, but we're still gonna be stuck with a four. Bang! Bang! It's good! But then my thing is, how do you win? She, okay, if she would have been a bigger woman, she, that would have been a problem. How, how do you win with these niggas? Ma'am, I'll say this again. You can win by being honest. Was she being honest when she said that I'm an over 30, two-time single mom, and I think I'm a eight or a 10? Was that being honest? I don't think she was an eight or a 10. Okay, the okay, okay. Matter, that's, all, that, that's, that's all that matters. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. That's all that matters, ma'am. She was saying that she was far above average. That's what she was saying is I'm far above average. I'm in the upper percentile. Now, you cannot want to be honest with somebody, but just understand women wreck each other today because you all get together and say, I'm going to uphold the sisterhood. So if I tell men that you're going to lie no matter what, like this is the Communist Party of 1957, well, then we all get to be in benefit and get to be upheld. No, there's a standard and men have the right to have their standard. If you don't meet it, you don't get to bully men. Take this. Listen very carefully, ma'am. You don't get to bully men and tell them they got to tell you something that you want to hear, even though it's a lie, Facts. because you want benefits you haven't earned. How about instead of trying to bully men into treating you like a 10, how about you become one? Mm. How about that one? But I feel like if you want to do something, you should do that for yourself. I feel like a woman shouldn't do anything to please a man because a lot of times they don't do anything to please women. If anything, they do more to disappoint women. Okay, you sound very them. you sound very cynical, ma'am. If I can be just be totally honest, you sound very cynical. She absolutely. Like what, who is the who is the man who hurt means. you and made you this cynical? I'm just saying. Okay, let me try second again, second again, second again, second again, second second time. Who is the man who hurt you and made you this hopelessly cynical? Nobody's really gave me that, but I go I, I, and like I said, clearly I they did. I listen to the pink. Clearly, Hi. some clearly somebody has made you very cynical. Clearly, they have. You are extremely negative. I wouldn't say, say that. I just feel like a lot of them, and this is my saying: they want Mercedes services with Hyundai money. You want this, you want that, you want. But ma'am, slow what, down. What, but ma'am, slow what down. That's table? great, okay, man. That's great, uh, ma'am. That's great, ma'am. That's great. You say the I w the, these fellows want Mercedes, a Mercedes uh, service with Honda money. Great, wonderful. I agree that's with, right. ma'am. I agree with you one hundred and ten percent. Question: Are you a Mercedes? Mm. Yes. <laughs> okay, ma'am. I want you to get on Zoom. I don't <laughs> yeah. believe you. Talk to him. Hit the link. What do you mean you don't believe me? Ma'am, I mean, ma'am, you're, ma'am, ma'am, you're, ma'am, you're a liar. I'll pay you twenty five dollars. <laughs> get on Zoom. I don't believe. You. <laughs> okay, so so so, so what do you ma'am, ma'am, ma you you're ma'am, you're a liar. I'll pay you fifty dollars. <laughs> get on Zoom. Take that cash. For what? what because gotta, if you're a Mercedes, ma'am, if you're a Mercedes, Mercedes does not mind showing the world that it's a Mercedes. Facts. I don't believe you. I'll pay you $75. You're a liar. Get on <laughs> Zoom. Why am I got to be a liar? Ma'am, you're a liar. Get your I'll ass pay you $100. On Zoom. Get your fat ass on Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to him. Let's go, ma'am. I'll pay you a. I will this. pay you a hundred dollars. Get on Zoom now. <laughs> Okay, so if I get on Zoom, what, what point is that going to prove? Bitch, get on Zoom, ma'am. It, it will prove that you're a Mercedes and that you know everything you're talking about and that I'm wrong. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm just saying. Ma'am, it'll prove that we can just end this debate real quick. Get on Zoom, and it'll show that Jason don't know a damn thing he's talking about. <laughs> I can get on, I can hop on Zoom right now. I'm out of shame to get on there.
Okay, good. I want you to get on Zoom and you can show everybody what a Mercedes looks like. What you waiting on? The link is at the that's top. The link's at the top of the chat room. I'm you, waiting. You better, you, hey, man, you better send my seventy-five dollars, bro. Okay, go go ahead and send it to me. I'll I'll go ahead. And, I can't wait to see this Mercedes. <laughs> So what you look like? How come you don't show your oh, face? Oh, here we go. What you look like? Ma'am, because I only, I only get show my face to folk in public, and if you're a Mercedes, I'll come see you. <laughs> I would love to come. I, I would love to come. Like. I would love to add a Mercedes to the harem of this year. Ma'am, I'm done talking. Are you going to pony up or shut up? What's it going to be? I ain't got to shut up. I, I proved my point. Okay, I, I ma'am. I proved my point about you niggas. Okay, get your okay, big ass I off my the point phone. About you niggas. <laughs> what you need to do. That's what you need to do. As I said, it ain't gonna, it's not going to last very long. So, <laughs> Jason, are you serious? Yeah, that's right. Maybe look here. Money talks. I don't, I'm not here. To, I don't play big mouth versus little mouth. I play big bank versus little bank. Yes, I know some of my, some of my, Knockoff artists on the internet. Some of the other channels have started using that now. Hey, pop the collar. I just don't like it when they don't let them know where they got the game from. I don't play Big Mouth versus Little Mouth. I play Big Bang versus Little Bang. Jay Reader, you said the E Class Fund? <laughs> no, that, that heifer there was a straight CLA. I'm talking about a 2007. That was a straight CLA. If a chick is a Mercedes, she ain't got a problem showing she's a Mercedes. But she don't have a problem with that. Remember the chick last week? She was yelling and screaming. Say what you will. She was like, oh, no, I can get on Zoom in a minute. So. Oh, oh yeah, we reacted to that lady as well. She was crazy as all hell, but she did get on the camera. She probably doesn't want to get on Zoom because it would have to be a wide angle lens. <laughs> it would have to be an aerial shot or something like that. But aerial shot. Yeah, I don't have a problem with that at all. <laughs> Dead at the aerial shot, man. I love Jason Black's content. You guys know that I obviously rock with the Godfather. And even though I believe that Jason Black had some issues with Mr. Samuel's content, the difference between how men and women operate, even in disagreement, because you can already tell that that woman already had negative preconceived notions about black men prior to the call. Listen how she kept referring to black men as niggas. She said that several times. She thought that she was going to take this opportunity because Jason was in disagreement with how Mr. Samuels operated, that she was going to call in and just hop on the bashing train, and it did not turn out how she intended because even in disagreement, Jason Black still hold a measure of, re of respect for him, even in death. But hey, what the hell do I do on the pot talking on YouTube? You guys let me know what you think after party in the comments. My name is Theo Coop, but you can call me bitch. Do better. Uh, excuse me, bitches?